Hey, it's Jerry with JNS Precision Ag Plus. Today I was going to talk to you about grain calibration and the steps to do before the season starts. So today we're on a in command 1200 screen from Ag Leader and we're on a run screen. The bottom left you see grain calibration it says wait we're going to touch that i have this in here from last year this is just a test field i just kind of threw something in there for this purpose but we want to get rid of last year's calibrations because we're previous videos we've talked about vibration cows so what i want to do is i want to hit the wrench at the top and i want to hit start new calibration at the bottom here we're going to retire the old calibration and start a new one. We're going to hit a green check. There it is. We're going to go back. Now we have a clean slate. So when you get started harvest, you know, you can you can harvest your end rows and I always tell guys to wait to calibrate when you have a nice open area to do it in you know not where you're turning start and stop and you know consistently uh, watch your bushel per hour and maintain that that first load if you could run it at full capacity give her everything she's got um, another thing you could do you could do a two cow system where then the next load is at 50 percent for the same amount of weight uh, that's an option. You could do the three, uh, the three or four cow system. I still like that. You know, if you pick three to five thousand pounds, um, you know, and then just back off your bushel per hour every time is also a good way of doing it. But when you get started, you will hit new load. You know, make sure your grain tank is empty. Hit the green check mark. If you look at the bottom left, you now have a uh, a counter. So as you start to harvest that is going to go up uh, in pounds so you know if you're going to do you know a hopper full or something let's say it's 5,000 pounds you'll stop at 5,000 pounds end the calibration let the combine completely clean out go weigh it end your calibration hit your green check obviously I didn't do anything but if there's a you have your load name, your weight, it'll actually say, you know, that there's 5,200 in there. Your actual on the right hand side, you're going to hit your keypad where it says actual. Let's say it was 5,000. Okay, I realize that it's going to have a weird error because there's nothing in there, but if the weight was actually 5,200 and 5,000, the error percentage would be really small. Um, and then you would hit new load again. And this one, if you're going to do a two cow system, just run that at 50%. So on the right hand side over here on the combine, it says bushel per hour. That's where I like to watch. So if that first one was 3,500, you're going to want to cut that in half. So you're going to be in that you know, 1,700 range, you know, give or take. Just get it as close to 50%. Um, and watch that and then allow that to get to the 5,000 pounds again, end your calibration, come back in here, type in what the actual weight is, and then it'll calibrate, and that should be all you have to do. I have auto cal unchecked, so once, and I gotta put an actual in there, so I'm just gonna say 5,200 this time. Obviously it's way off because I don't have an actual weight in there, but if those errors are, see how those are really bad, I would actually don't want those in there. Something happened, doesn't look good. Those should all be really, really close, you know, 10th percent. Um, and then you'd hit perform calibration. A lot of them are defaulted to have auto cal on and that's totally fine too. I just prefer to see what those numbers are before I perform the calibration. You know, if one of them's off, it's going to throw the whole thing off. So I like to make sure that what's in there is good data, and then I perform the calibration last. But that's that is how you do a weight calibration on an ag leader yield monitor.